My name is Laurel Braitman, and I'm author of the book Animal Madness, How Anxious Dogs, Compulsive Parrots, and Elephants in Recovery Help Us Understand Ourselves. One of the most interesting aspects of researching this book was, for me, coming to the realization that so many different animal species exhibit what look like obsessive, compulsive spectrum behaviors. From dogs who chase their own shadows to parrots who obsessively ring on their favorite toys. I'm going to show you a couple of videos here. <laughs> this wouldn't be a problem if it was just a fun game that the dog played with every once in a while, but a lot of dogs become so obsessed with shadows that they don't eat, they don't play with the other dogs or their human family members, and it can really affect their quality of life. <laughs> and dogs aren't the only animals to develop obsessions. That video went on and on and on and on. Actually, captive birds are not the only kinds of birds to develop obsessions. Right now at my parents' house, we have a bird that's throwing itself against a window easily two hours a day. And this bird seems to be doing the same kind of thing. In some animals, their compulsions are ritualized, just as in some people. This cat named Lou does this with his paws for five or ten minutes before he eats, every time he eats. similar the experiences of birds like Nikolai or cats like Lou are to humans with OCD is almost impossible to know. But what we can tell is that these animals are obsessing about something in their environment, often to the exclusion of other activities, and it's doing them harm. <laughs>